I was one of the facilitators to talk through one of the groups during lunch. So the idea was we would have a working lunch and um, engage with a specific group. So each group was paired with one or two people who were experts in the field or had a particular interest in it. So I was paired with the big data team, um, the people who are looking at um, edX and uh, different initiatives around MOOCs with Harvard, and I do a lot of work around data and privacy. Um, so the idea was to you know, brainstorm, give them feedback on what they've done, talk about their presentations, and maybe you know, inspire them a little bit with real life examples of what we've done, um, you know, sort of help them along, identify questions they may want to look at, different areas of research, or help fine tune what they're already doing, and I guess really just to have a dialogue um, about their work. So I think one of the issues was around um, consent. So we were talking about you know people uh, having their data that is held by an educational institution uh, be shared for research purposes. And the assumption was, well, of course, you know, if you ask people, they'll say, yes, I'm very happy for my data to be used. Nobody would say no. And I sort of immediately jumped up and said, well, I would say no, which sort of seemed to come as a surprise to the person working on the project. She's like, well, why would you say no? You know, kind of this immediate assumption that all data, all research is for a good purpose, so why would you not want it to be shared? And I was talking about a developing country perspective, which is what I'm more familiar with, and how often the consent that you give isn't fully informed consent. There are issues around people not having the education, the literacy, the knowledge of what might be done with their data to be able to even make informed choices. So sort of adding that slightly different perspective around how if you start a program or if you design an interface, working off an assumption that, yes, of course, people are happy to share, why wouldn't they? It already sort of designs a certain path you're going to go down, and it's not flexible enough. And maybe looking at the sort of devil's advocate side of the spectrum and saying, well, why would people not want to give their data? And then allowing people genuine choice and having that consent be meaningful is something you do need to think about. So that was something that sort of came up, which I think they hadn't quite thought about.